Hey everybody, how's it going? My name is Fitzhogan11 and welcome to episode 4 of Pokemon Mega Power Version. Uh, in the last episode, we saved uh, some researchers from an Obama Snow. Uh, we took on a Mewtwo in our lab. Uh, in this episode, we're just going to be running around until we find the next event, pretty much, uh, like chickens with our head cut off. So, uh, let's start running, I guess. Um, and we actually got it already if we enter the first city. I forget the name of it, but we'll find it out soon. She's late. She's late. That's unforgivable. Hey, you, do you think it's right to be late? No, I'm usually a pretty on-time person. Uh, you, al you also think so, right? Yes, everybody knows that being late is not proper. Sorry, I was too angry. By the way, do you have Pokemon? Yes? Please battle with me. I really want a, a Pokemon battle. You, may, uh, you don't know I've never battled anyone in the years as I'm traveling, so I really need a battle. Okay. So he's a beginning trainer just like me, I guess? I don't really know what's up with him. But he has a Drillbur as well, which is kind of awkward. And apparently I didn't heal up my Pokemon, but that's fine. Uh, these Drillbirds won't really have any good moves at the beginning, so should be good. I'm just going to super speed this part because really not much going on there. Charizard X. Now that's an issue. Uh, so we're going to kind of be sacrificing Kathy here. Uh, hopefully we can get off a mud slap and lower this thing's accuracy. That's kind of the goal right now. Uh, it'll be super effective. Probably won't do much damage at all, though. Yeah. But we do get the lowered accuracy, and he seemed to be missing his attacks anyways, so... Uh, we might actually do pretty well here. Oh, we're gonna get taken down by Scratch. That's fine. I think we should be good. One confusion. Uh, maybe two confusions will put away Charizard X. But already, early in this game, running into some crazy Pokemon. Uh, so let's see if Charizard hits itself. It does. And that is GG. Uh, so I'm guessing this rival will be kind of the main story of this game, I would assume. I don't remember when Esper evolves. And we actually need to give it a nickname. Maybe you're not strong, but the battle was exciting. I, what, do, what do you mean? You're not strong. I just beat you. Thanks, now I feel better. I think I should calm down and try to find her uh, to know why she's late. Okay. Hi, Professor. We su successfully refined the crystal into pure mega power. That was quick. The magical crystal that we need. Please come back right away. Uh, we'll begin with the most important part of our project. Alright. So apparently, finally, I've achieved it. I feel so excited. I must go back as soon as possible. Alright. So, I don't know, uh, our character doesn't really seem to be doing much of the work in the lab. He just kind of takes walks outside, and then every all of his researchers do it for him. I guess that's really how most work goes, especially science. Uh, <laughs> probably made a lot of people mad there. But anyway, we defeated that ace trainer. I just uh, went and took out his Absol real quick. Uh, it still had Dark Pole, so it actually did some damage to me, but uh, since we're like 8 levels higher, it wasn't too bad. Uh, so let's see what our research assistant has to say. Alright, it's kind of quiet. It's a little eerie. Uh, let's see. Oh, hi, Professor. Since we've uh, prepared for the last step, you better come. I'll wait for you in the lab. Okay. Sounds good. I guess we could have walked there together, but that's fine. Uh, maybe I should let that girl leave first. After all, we no longer need to keep the secret. Come out, girl. Leave here right away. What's your plot, evil scientist? What do you want to do? Get out, right now. Here, take your Pokemon and run away as soon as fast as possible. Never. This is not over, you crook. Now I'll try again and stop your evil project. Stop my project? I'll never let that happen. Go out. Oh. I don't know why we just let her out. Should have let her out in handcuffs. Let the grunts do that. Uh, but Scroopy, I guess we can try to mud slap. It won't do a whole lot. I don't know why that wasn't super effective either. But I guess we can just go for confusion. Did take an unnecessary couple of bites, but that's fine. And then Trico. Well, this is actually kind of an issue. Let's see what nature power turns into in here. Just kind of curious. Swift? Okay. I can deal with that. 
Alright, so there we go, Riolu. Go back out into Esper. Go for a Confusion. Maybe Riolu can take one of those. Yeah. Karate Chop will not take us out. Fortunately, did not get the crit there. And there we go, that was easy. She has some crazy hair. No, no, this shouldn't be over so quick. No, I don't buy it. Okay, it seems that you can't do anything now, so just go out and don't be in my way. In fact, you know nothing about your project. You have no idea. Huh? You know about our project? But how? Yes, that's what I'm saying. Do you uh, know what the real reason why Team Delta needed you to work on it invest your prod and invest in your project? Of course, they want your project, and they'll use it for evil things. Haven't you realized it? I don't care. I'm a scientist. It's my duty to prove my achievement and make it come true. That's everything for me. Then you should also remember what's the basic criterion of being a scientist. Have you ever thought about the consequences of doing this? Leave here before I change my mind, kid. It seems that you still don't understand. You better consider what I said. By the way, my name is Sybil. Better not forget it. Because I'll be the one who will defeat you if you still keep up on your, e uh, your evil works. Since I accepted Team Delta's request, everyone has disagreed with me, even myself always suspects that I'm wrong. What should I do? I must make my decision before it's too late. Okay. I don't know if we're actually going to get a choice, or it's just going to be a forced choice. But let's see what our uh, scientist friend has to say. Once I push the button, there will be no chance for me to cancel it. Should I do it? Sybil was right. Even I don't think Team Delta can use my project in a proper way. What's worse, they may use it for something evil. No, I won't let that happen. Professor, what are you waiting for? Should we begin? No, we shouldn't have it finished. We must stop our project. Forever. What? But why? Tyra, I thought about it for a long time. When I accepted Team Delta's request, I just wanted to finish the project to prove myself. But I didn't think about what will happen once my project gets finished. And now I must stop my must make my decision, and I must stop it. Professor, there's no reason for us to stop it. We've spent so much time and effort. What are you thinking? Professor, please finish it. Uh, we must change your foolish direction. Sorry, everyone, we must stop it. We even don't know what will happen if we finish. Everyone, please trust Professor. He must have his reason to do so. Enough. Professor, if you can't make your decision, we'll do it for you. Uh, no, I will never let that happen. Neil, be careful. Let me deal with this. Professor. Who's Neil? It seems that we must force you to leave, Professor. Is that supposed to be Tyra? And it just kind of screwed up the script, I'm guessing. Uh, so we don't have our Pokemon healed up. Probably should have done that. But uh, we should be able to take down the Sound Hour. And there we go. Golit. We'll try to get some of our health back with Absorb. I'm guessing Nature Power might turn into Shadow Ball, so... Or no, it probably wouldn't. But either way, we got some health back, so that's pretty nice. I won't change my mind again. Sorry, everybody. Professor, what are you thinking? Uh-oh. I feel like Team Delta's about to step in. Professor Fitz, we must leave with Mewtwo as soon as possible. Alright, I'm down with that. We must escape from here, as Team Delta may have found out that we stopped the project. You're right, Tyra. I'm going to take Mewtwo with us. Well, if that's a great idea. Mewtwo, I'll free you. What are you doing, Professor? There we go. Long time no see, Professor. It seems that you want to quit, eh? Sorry, but it seems you have no choice now. Casper, how did you know? To be honest, Professor, I knew you'd do so already. You're just the kind of person. So I bought off some of your aides as my spies. It seems they really helped me a lot. Hee <laughs> hee. What? You were spying? That's sneaky. Whatever you say, now you better obey me. You're surrounded. Now push that button. I don't think we have much of a choice now. No, it's out of control. All members, let's escape. Alrighty. So I'm guessing Mewtwo wasn't too happy with us. I can still remember that. Mewtwo destroyed the lab. Weren't we just knocked out? How could we remember? It burst everything into flames. Am I dead? I can't see anything. I feel like being washed by waves. Someone lifts me and... I lost my feeling. Okay. Huh? I'm still alive. Where am I? Who took me here? What's more, what time is it? 
Hey, there's a clock on the wall. I should check it out. All right. Uh, it is 4.06 at the time of recording. Unfortunately, this uh, episode won't go up for quite some time. I'm at 5, aren't I? There we go. Alright. If I messed up there, then I should go back to kindergarten. Uh, let's see. We get a potion. That's kind of cool. Just stole that from somebody's computer. Here we go. Hello? Could you please tell me where here is? Oh, you finally wake up. Uh, oh, we found you in Cypress Forest, boy, and you were badly hurt at that time. Who are you? And what happened? Me? I'm Fitz. And Tyra, I remember it. Have you found a girl there? She was my assistant, and we were together before I fainted. And please tell me, who are you? I'm Ivan, a professor of Pokemon researching. Oh, isn't that convenient? I'm a professor, too. And this is Professor Amala. She's the most fam famous professor all over this region. Oh, it's nice to meet you, but you still didn't answer me. Did you see a girl around me? I'm so sorry, Fitz. I didn't see anyone there except you. I'm so sorry, but what happened? Fitz? I think I remember this name. But I need some hints. Please tell me more about yourself. Well, in fact... Oh, that's surprising, but I must say that your choice is right. To be honest, I told them everything? The reason why I came to this region is that I'm helping detect a detective called Trevor to find out what uh, Team Delta is researching on. Now you helped us a lot, at least as me too escaped. They can't do what they want as quickly as they expected. Okay. I remember it now. You're the genius that became a professor at such a young age. As your aide, as for your aide Tyra, I hope that she's okay. Uh, before you find a place to stay, you can stay here. I can offer you the room upstairs. Really, Amala? So you decided to offer him your room? Oh, I think she likes me. I just thought I can help him. Professor Ivan, it's okay. He needs help, and it seems that this is the only thing I can do for him, so Fitz, feel free free to stay. Thank you for saving me. Okay. I must leave. I must tell Trevor. In fact, I can't wait to play my video games. Don't tell the others. Okay. See you later. Okay, Fitz. Maybe I should call you Professor Fitz. Now that I, I'm going to my lab, it's in Sperlina City. I'd like to invite you to go with me. Are you interested? Yeah, sure. Okay, follow me. Sounds like we have a little date here. And she's got a Skarmory. So here you are. Are you ready to go to Sperlina City? Oh yes, but I think it'll be a long trip. No, it'll be quick and safe. My Skarmory will take us to the lab by Fly. Really, so that means you've got the badge for using Fly? Of course. In fact, my dream was to become the champion. Uh, so I've earned all eight, badge uh, all eight badges. Well, that's not about you, Fitz. Just come with me. Okay. Sounds good. We've arrived. This is my lab. I'll wait for you in my office. You better come as soon as possible. All right, we'll finish this up and then end the episode off. Looks like we're in a big city, uh, so I don't know if we'll be finding any Pokemon in the near future, but we'll figure it out. What did this have to say? So many emails. In fact, she hates to read emails on computers. Oh, okay. That's odd for a world-renowned scientist. Welcome to my lab. This is my lab. I research on Pokemon. Okay. Do you want to work with me? Hell yeah. Professor, just received an email from the Avara League. They invite you to attend the League meeting again. I don't want to attend. But Professor, this is the third time that they invited you. Is it okay to refuse again? Hmm. Let me think. Hey Fitz, why don't you go there for me? What? Me? Yes, you. I think you can do it for me. You just need to earn all eight badges of this region to go to the Avara League. I think it's not too difficult for you, by the way. If you would help me, it's a pleasure to offer my lab when you need to do some experiments. Deal? It seems I don't have any reasons to refuse. I think I can help you. Great. Please uh, tell them that Fitz will attend for me. Thanks. You're welcome. Alright. I don't think the Avara League's going to like that one. That's the email they received back. I have a problem. Uh, why did you choose me? I'm not even sure if I can get all eight badges. Alright, I trust you. Take it easy. Don't be too anxious. It's a long trip. Okay, there's a gym leader here. He uses rock types. Each type of gym leader uses a certain type. Alright. So I figured she'd kind of give us a starter Pokemon or something. But I suppose not. So in the next episode, I think we'll try to take on the gym leader. We do have uh, Lombre, who seems to be our best Pokemon. Uh, so I'm going to find a Pokemon Center. That's the gym. And uh, in the next episode, uh, we will 
try to get our first badge. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.